If you're a non-pecking order guy, which I've got a couple of those hanging around right now, this guy's a non-pecking order alligator. Um, he's had nothing better to do all summer, so he's just over getting a bite to eat, trying to become that 13-foot guy. Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This week we are doing a vlog and we haven't done one of these in a very long time. We are at Alligator Alley in Somerdale, Somerville, Somerdale, Alabama, and it's super cool here. So I thought I would record a vlog here and yeah, let's go. second or third time I've done that but it is always super super exciting to do it and he was sweet and adorable and the kids in reptilian den all of them held him too and we just had a really good time So we have a little over 200 adults out here in the main swamp, about 250 on this side of the fence to be a little more accurate. These are all nuisance, wild caught alligators. Basically what has landed them here though is just being an alligator. What used to be creeks and swamps and bayous is now turned into waterfront property. So just being an alligator has pretty well got some of these guys in trouble. If you guys are wondering, today is going to be pig leg day. Um, these are feral pigs though, if you guys don't have feral pigs where you're from, give it a little while, but they show up, pretty big invasive species, a lot of folks trying to get rid of them, not many folks eating them. Really, uh, these guys are good at associating things, so they're coming over here getting a bite to eat, times, places, sounds, colors are what they associate. It does not take a very big alligator to ruin your day though, at about six to seven feet, which I uh, think about everybody on the bank right now is in that six to seven foot range. But at this size, they have a bite force of about four to 500 pounds. Ouch. Doesn't seem like much weight. Most of you fellas probably throw that up at the gym every week, right? Doesn't seem like much. Our arms and legs tend to start breaking about 450 though. So that little alligator could actually do quite a bit of damage. To about 10 feet, which I see a couple big guys over here. Hopefully they're gonna come up here and chase me around in a minute. But at 10 feet, that bite force jumps about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. And if you guys make it to the back of the swamp back there and see or read about Captain Crunch, he holds the record for bite force for a male American alligator at 2,982 pounds. And this is true poundage, not PSI. Now these alligators can generate into the hundreds of thousands of pounds, PSI or tooth pressure. So he's only going to bite you once. Good thing is he can only hold that bite on you for about 20 minutes. We have both males and females out here. Now from an external standpoint, male and female alligators actually look the same. So I can't really look at one and say, yeah, that one looks like a boy or that one kind of looks like a girl. Ladies, you want to get upwards of about 10 feet or so. You will never make it over 11. Fellas, you get up into about the 13 foot range, maxing at around 14. So. If it's over 11 feet out here, I can pretty well guarantee it's going to be a male. Let's talk about how much these guys can eat. We'll try and get Freddy up, use him for an example. Freddy's a decent sized fella, no monster. Freddy's in the 11 and a half foot range. I would say he's weighing close to 500 pounds. And 500 pounds, let's say something big came along, a pig, a deer, maybe a third grader. He's got a stomach capacity of about a fifth of that overall body weight. If you're talking almost 100 pounds, he can eat at one sitting. Physically, alligators cannot chew. Everything they're eating, they're just going to crush and swallow in its entirety. Inside of that alligator's stomach, there's enough hydrochloric acid produced that they can break down pretty much everything they're going to encounter out here in the wild. We're talking bones, teeth, feathers. Nikes don't do so well. That's a long story. 
Um, things will get a little bit busier the later into summer after this breeding season is over with. Uh, things actually do pick up as far as the feeding shows are concerned. Uh, we'll have upwards of 30 to 35 of them on the bank with us. It'll be a little bit more interesting then. Let's see if it'll break. Ouch. Let's see if it'll break. Ouch. That makes my fingers hurt. All right, well, cool. Nice, calm alligator feeding. I didn't have to run for my life, which works out good for me. Not as fun for you guys, I'm sure. That is it for this video. Sorry, I'm super sweaty. It is very hot and humid out here because we're very close to Florida, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. As always, if you're not already, please feel free to follow me on social like, subscribe, hit that up on my face every time I put out a new video it's every Sunday and some Wednesday. There's people around and it's really awkward. And normally I don't do this on Wednesdays, but this was super adorable and I couldn't help myself. This week's Instagram shout out is for Gabriel and Sage, whose mom reached out to me and he wants to be a beard dragon YouTuber and I think it's the sweetest thing in the whole world. So huge shout outs to them. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.